The, the head of CBS Films says she's known Les Moonves to be a champion of women inside CBS. In fact, Terry Press wrote in this comment on Facebook, quote, I do not believe that it is my place to question the accounts put forth by the women, but I do find myself asking that if we are examining the industry as it existed decades before, through the lens of 2018, should we also discuss a path to learning, reconciliation, and forgiveness? Here to discuss all of this, Chloe Mellis. She's here with me here in New York. She's our entertainment reporter, and she has covered uh, the Me Too movement quite extensively um, and broken her own stories on that front. And uh, we are also joined by Catherine Mattis Zundel in San Diego. She's president of Civility Partners, which helps companies create better workplace cultures. Uh, ladies, thank you both for your time. Uh, Chloe, uh, I want to talk about that sentiment echoed by the head of CBS Film. Are there many people at CBS who are echoing the sentiment, in essence, um, maybe we should forgive him because this was another time and give him a pass? So there have been individuals that have come forward in support of Les Moonves since Ronan Farrow's investigation came out. Look, there's a wide spectrum of bad behavior that we're seeing come out in this Me Too movement. And you find that some people give some a pass because it doesn't quite hit the bar of Harvey Weinstein for some people out there. And I have experienced that with some of my own stories um, and with an investigation that I did on Morgan Freeman that came out recently. And you know, you have to ask yourself this question is that the accusations against Les Moonves in this piece in The New Yorker it doesn't matter if it was 20 years ago. It doesn't matter if it was five years ago. It was bad behavior then, if it was true, and it's still bad behavior now. So to give someone a pass because it was so many years ago, I can't quite reconcile that thinking right there. Yeah. But I do think that there is a way forward because this does open up the conversation about what is and isn't okay in the workplace and definitely, you know, pinning a woman down, forcing yourself on her, trying to kiss somebody is never okay. And I'm just glad that these stories are coming out because it will, in my hope, stop any behavior like this from happening going forward, hopefully. Everyone talks about degrees, and, and while these allegations may not have risen to Harvey Weinstein's degree, uh, Catherine, what is depicted in the article by Farrow is sexual assault. Um, Moonves denies that there was any assault. He doesn't deny that he tried to kiss the actress interviewed in the piece. What do you think of the excuse of, I didn't invent the casting couch? Well, I don't think that's a fair excuse. I think everybody needs to be held accountable to their behavior. If somebody violates somebody else's personal space or tries to force them to kiss or, uh, you know, anything like that, it needs to be addressed. And I think anytime we allow lesser behaviors to go, so it was, I didn't invent the casting couch, we, you know, I just tried to kiss her. Anytime we let any of that kind of thing go, we are creating opportunity for the worst things to happen, like the assault. And, and so, what does it mean? No pass. Yeah, what does it mean, Catherine, uh, that we're talking about the CEO of the company? He was not CEO necessarily um, at the time of any of these allegations, but we're also talking about Jeff Fager, who's the executive producer of 60 Minutes, uh, the flagship show right. and allegations against him. And what does that mean for CBS um, culturally? Uh, because the article also goes into lower levels, examples of this kind of behavior. Does it work that way? Does it permeate an organization when you have your leadership um, accused of this kind of behavior? It does. So CBS has an opportunity. If all of this is, is true, they have an opportunity to take a stand and say, we're not going to tolerate this kind of behavior no matter what level of the organization you're at. So uh, CBS needs to do a lot more than, for example, remove him if it turns out all of these things are true and the investigation has a bunch of findings. They need to take a stand against any behavior that goes against uh, one's right to have a dignified and healthy and safe work environment no matter the level that somebody is at.
Chloe, you know, CBS has been described by um, some former college, uh, people that have worked there, former employees, as an old boys club, uh, that they, they do things the old school way. How do these allegations contribute and reinforce that image of CBS? And, and how much do they need to really do something about the culture uh, now that this is all surfaced? Great question. Well, according to this investigation, uh, Les Moonves allegedly knew that there was bad behavior by other people in positions of power, including Jeff Fager, and that those people people were promoted as opposed to fired or demoted, uh, that there was a culture of silence and people were afraid that they were going to be retaliated against by Les Moonves or by other people in the industry. Katie Couric came out and she, she used to work at 60 Minutes and she described CBS as a boys club. I think that CBS has some very important decisions to make because it's a huge company and it looks as though overall the culture there has not been great and hopefully they can move forward with the rest of, of everyone and time's up in making these changes for safer workplaces. And to not suspend him doesn't really send that message out there. Chloe Nellis and Catherine Matazundel, thank you both uh, for your insights on this.